I am currently here in beautiful Boiling Springs State Park. I think that was the name of it, Boiling Springs? I think so. I'm gonna be taking a series of day trips and I wanted to take you guys along. So we're gonna be visiting several locations and I really hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. Let's go. Whoa, it looks like a reflection, like a mirror. Oh, I saw that. Oh, they're flying through. Hey. Well, I don't think they like me like I like them. Smallest bat found east of the Rocky Mountains in the United States. It looks pretty teasy. Huh? Yeah, his wingspan is only about six to eight inches wide. Wow. Well, it looks like a fuzzy cocoon. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> a little cotton ball on the rock. That's the purest form of gypsum you'll see. It's selenite. Oh, wow, look at that. It was being developed and deposited by the Permian Sea. And we're about 60 feet below the surface right here. And these grooves at the base of the dome indicate where the water levels were as it receded. Oh. Oh. Gypsum to touch is hard. To bump your head on, it's even harder. But to work with, it's soft. Gypsum rates a two on a hardness scale of one to ten. Your fingernail rates a three. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Diamond is the hardest. So they wrote, they carved in 1920. there. 1920. Right over here is the earliest date and name we found on the park. Orland Moon, May 1st, 1900. Wow. The early 60s, the Civil Defense Department designated the whole cave as a fallout shelter. Decided it would house 3,080 people for two weeks. What if the whole thing collapsed? Yeah. Then you would have a tomb for 3,080 people forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aren't you cuddly? crystals look at that all cleaned up there are two types there's this pure brown type that make these really weird formations cute little x here are the kind that you normally see for this park clear all around the edges kind of a little hourglass of brown inside brown crystals aren't exactly my notion of a pretty crystal but it's still kind of cool having these because they're just they're very rare all the way up wow Look at that beady little eye, beady little chicken eye. Oh, look at them, they're sweet. On top of the world, on top of it all, trying to feel invincible. This one is said to be quite luxurious for the fact it's two rooms instead of one, but especially the fact that it does have glass windows in it, each costing $1.25. Upon completing it, he married, brought Mrs. McCulley out here. Sadie brought with her an organ, a dresser, and two trunks of goods. He then offered her the opportunity of a wood floor below her or a tin roof above her. 
She selected the wood floor instead of one year later in 1895, but according to the farm photo, by 1897, it does show a tin roof. We always tease everyone and tell them he probably got a guilty complex putting a tin roof on the barn, so added it to the home as well. <laughs> they traded the organ off, got the milk cow, with a great sense of humor, named the milk cow, Old Organ. The original sod roof was 12 inches thick. 7,800 pounds of sod above you. You're going to see sheets tacked to the ceiling to catch dirt and bugs from falling on you. Talking about the snake slithering across the sheets at night. I think I can hear the dune buggies. A bridal replica right there not a huge pink fan but those are so pretty look at the details <laughs> when I first came in I actually thought there was somebody standing there a sheriff's office back in the day and Every one of these pieces that you see has, are like real pieces donated.